functions inside of Kotlin are first class. So if we have a function that says, says, say hi, we might have something that says look like this. And inside of here, we might say hello. And if we were to call this function, of course, we just call it in the main function and it's just going to print hello to the screen. However, one of the other cool things that you can also do inside of Kotlin with functions, since they are first class citizens and technically objects, which we will get to, is you can create another function inside of another function. So we could say, say bye, and that would look something like this. So now I'm creating a function inside of another function. And this one's just gonna be bye. Now, if I wanna call this function, if I go up here and I try to say, say bye, you'll notice I can't call this up here because this function is not found. It's because the scope of this function is within say hi. So the only place I can call say bye is within the say hi function. So this won't work. So if I wanna call it, I can come in here and call it. But if I try it right here, you'll notice again, it's red, which means it can't be found. And the reason why Kotlin can't find it is because it has not been declared yet. So by the time the code gets here, you'll have no idea what say by means because it's been declared below. So we can go underneath the function and call it. And so say bye. And if we were to run this now, what we would see is say hi and then bye. If we run it, we would see hello and bye. Now, of course, we should probably rename this to something else to say hi and bye. And that was a simple rename, which is done with a shortcut key, or you could just do refactor rename. So I used shift F6 here on a Mac. So shift F6 gave me the highlight to change it. So say hi and bye, and it will say hello, and then it will say goodbye or just bye. And then that function inside of there had a function. And you can also put another function inside of something in here. So you could say moo like a cow, it would say print LN, and this could say moo. Now, of course, I need to call moo after I've declared it. So at this point, I'm going to call say hi and bye, which will then print hello. This function will be declared. Then we'll call say bye, which then we'll hop into here. It'll say bye. We'll declare moo. Then moo will be called, which will print inside of here. So all different kinds of stuff happening. We're going here to here to here, kind of jumping around all over. And if we were to run this again, we're going to see hello, bye, moo, as we see on the output here. Now there are, again, functions inside of functions. This can get really squirrely looking and look real nasty after a period of time. So I advise that you be very careful with declaring functions inside of functions and make sure that's the proper right thing to do because it can make the code very hard to read. So unless you have a really good idea for making a function inside of a function, then you might wanna steer clear of it until you have a good grasp on when you might want to do it, which there are various different implementations that are beyond the scope of this video.